Hey guys, uh, it's Alex here and I'm coming to you to show you a little update on my rifle, what I've done to it so far. And if you see my previous video, it came out crappy because I decided to let YouTube enhance it because according to them it had some lighting problems so they tried fixing it and it made it worse. So here, uh, let me show you what I've done so far. What I did was I spray painted with a uh, Duracoat the UTG rails in a uh, gunmetal gray. My grip, I spray painted it as well the same day. The pistol grip and the butt stock right here. Uh, just so you guys can know, there's no mag and nothing in the chamber. Uh, also what I did was same when I took the pistol grip off the spray paint it I'm left handed so I switched the select lever for a left handed to you and I also bought a EOTech replica site works really good why did I buy a replica because this was a four hundred dollar gun. And I'm not gonna spend another four to five hundred dollars on a sight on a twenty two. So I just bought this replica of you know, twenty two, it doesn't have enough kick to um, for the sight to lose a zero. And the sight is actually really good. It goes from you guys can see it from green to red. And it's really bright. You can change the brightness settings. And I made this sling myself out of a. It's really, it's really durable and hard to break. And what else? This right here, I loosened it up because I'm either gonna buy a fake suppressor for it or another flash hider. Don't know yet. And the site was about seventy to eighty dollars on Amazon, and it has the quick detach right here, quick detach levers, one right here, one right here. It works just like the EOTech. The only thing that it doesn't have is the EOTech brand on it, and it doesn't have the night vision. And this comes off as the two AAA batteries. Kind of like a pain in the ass to put back in. And what else? Oh yeah, I also have this. Um, it's a uh, what is it again? Crap, I forgot the name is being covered by this, but I also put a tactical light on it. I gotta change the the battery on it already, it's kinda weakly. You probably can't tell on the camera if I shine it. But yeah, it's pretty weak already, I gotta change the battery. I forgot, I think it's called, a, yeah, it's a stream light. TL2 LED. That's what it is, and I just put right here this a regular um, scope mount that I bought at uh, Dick Sporting Goods. Uh, the pack brought two of them, so I just used one for this right here. And later on in the future, I don't know if I get a laser, if I decide to get a laser for it, and I'll just put it on the other side. And uh, I got a comment the other day, uh, someone commented. What if I spent four hundred dollars on this? If I wasn't allowed to have a five five six, if that was the only reason why I bought it, no, I bought it because twenty two ammo is really cheap right now, and I don't want to spend a lot of money on five five six right now because I just you know got out of high school and I'm going to start college, so I rather pay for college than pay on five five six ammo. But my now that I'm working and stuff, I'm saving up to buy all the parts 
to build my own 556 AR and um probably in five to six months I'll have all the parts ready I'll buy the complete uh, upper that comes with the uh, lower parts and the buttstock and then I'm gonna buy a completely stripped lower put it all together and I'll probably make a video of the process how I build it and stuff probably be a long video probably about 30 minutes it'll probably take me about 30 minutes to build the whole thing it's not that hard and yeah this is it right here I'm not gonna paint anything else on it oh and another thing right here uh, that I did because I like the gun to be a little heavy like for real um, AR so this right here people say that it was a uh, solid it's not it's hollow inside so what I did was I put see I can take it out see I put like a lot of clay in there just to make it heavier so it can really be you know solid inside no I don't want nothing to be you know I want it to be as heavy as the uh, full metal ARs or as close or close enough so that I, when I build my own I'm used to it and yeah like, this is the first gun I ever you know painted and did this job right here on came out pretty good a lot better than what I thought it was gonna come out like but um yeah I got this color from a video game uh, the Call of Duty Black Ops it's pretty simple just I spray painted it from far away so that way it wouldn't run down on me or anything it's on there really tight you know it won't come off as easy as people may think and yeah just hope that pretty soon I can you know get stuff done so I can get all my parts together so I can um, build my AR556 model alright guys thanks for watching um, got any questions let them down below in the comments and subscribe right up there I really need a, a subscription, you know, help me out, and please like, and if you want, you can favor it, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not telling you you have to, but if you want to help me out, you know, come up with more videos and stuff, um, alright guys, thank you.